Hi guys, welcome back to the Emang Teams channel. I am Marco and today we are back with another video of ePlay analysis and commentary. For today's video, I have decided to pick uh, one replay from uh, YGeoscope, uh, that is one site uh, in which you can find a lot of uh, Dwelling Book replays. And because I wanted to feature one of the new cards that came out in the uh, Chaos Impact Special Edition, which is uh, Scrap Viper. Uh, this card is mainly uh, used in uh, Orcus decks, so let's not waste any more time, let's get into it. Uh, for this video, the users are Domians and Ornids. Um, yeah, let's see. Okay, so here Ornids won the Rock Paper Shizor and decided to go second. Okay, so uh, looking at Dominant's hand, he has Orcus Tutti Return. Orcus Crescendo, uh, the Scrap Recycler, which is the main piece of the Scrap Wyvern combo, uh, Danger Jackal, and uh, War Legacy War Wand. So, drawing the War Legacy here is uh, still fine uh, because we have the Orcus Trade Return, and also here we have the full combo with uh, Scrap Recycler plus uh, one extender, which can be like any Danger or, or Eastern Fusion or stuff like that so uh yeah probably the optimal play here would be normal summon the scrap recycler first because uh, uh since we are playing the scrap wyvern um we don't want to draw into our scrap golem which uh, has to remain into the deck because it has to be summoned with a scrap wyvern effect so yeah, let's see. Uh, then uh, I think that we have to use the Danger Jekyll up, or maybe before using the Jekyll up, it's better to use the Return to draw into fresh cards, uh, so we can fish into any other combo pieces. So, okay, here he goes for the Orcus Return. That's kind of risky, uh, because if you draw into the Scrap Golem, okay, we still have the normal combo, I say, with the IP and stuff, but uh, yeah, we we are we are risking to join to the Scrap Golem, which is, uh, first of all, a useless card in hand, and secondly, it just makes our combo uh, less powerful. So here he draws the Ash Blossom and the Cold by the Grave, <laughs> so that that's, that's a pretty good pick. Yeah, you can risk to um, draw into the scrap golem uh, if you are playing uh, the cold by the grave. Because if you are if you are afraid of hand traps, uh, drawing into cold by the grave is pretty good. So yeah, you are risking that. But if you draw the cold by the grave, uh, yeah, your scrap recycler will will resolve uh, quite surely. Just the infinity permanence can stop it now. Okay, so now he goes into the Scrap Recycler and uh, I think you have to send the, the Heart Power here. So now we have a really good combo because we have uh, already the War Wand in Graveyard and the Scrap Recycler plus the um, Danger Jekyll. Okay, here he sends the, the Heart Power and he wants to set the Crescendo because, uh, yeah, I think that's correct because uh, you can end on a, a Orcus Link monster on field at the end of the combo. So yeah, Orcus Crescendo is just another uh, piece of interruption. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty good. So now you have to reveal the Jackalope. Okay, that's fine. And you and uh, here the Ash Blossom gets discarded. That's pretty bad, but still, we have, we have our Cold by the Grave in hand, so uh, our Art Power will resolve, like, for sure. And he draws into another Orcus Return, which is pretty useless now, but uh, it is still fine, because uh, as we will see in a few moments, uh, Scrap Wyvern has to destroy 
something in order to do the full combo. Uh, so now maybe before using the Jackalope we could have used the hard power just in case our opponent uh, could have uh, saved the, the Ash Blossom for the hard power. So uh, because here if we discarded the Cold Blooded Grave with Jackalope and our opponent saved the Ash Blossom for the hard power we still had something uh, because of the World uh, Wand in Grave but maybe it was like more safe to do that um, yeah, maybe I, I would have gone for that. Okay, so now, now it goes the scrap wyvern. So let's read that. So the materials are two monsters, including a scrap one. So uh, this is the effect. You can target one scrap monster in your graveyard, special summon it, then destroy one card you control. Uh, if Another face-up scrap monster already destroyed by a card effect while you control this monster, except during the damage step, you can special summon one scrap monster from your deck, then destroy one card on the field. You can only use uh, each effect of scrap wyvern once per turn. So, uh, one thing that you have to keep in mind is it, that uh, scrap recycler can lose timing. So, if we summon the first effect of scrap wyvern and uh, uh, summon back the Scrap Recycler. Scrap Recycler, Recycler can't use uh, its effect because it is a when you can effect. Uh, so the special summon of Scrap Recycler has to be the last thing that happens during the chain. But since uh, Scrap Wyvern has to destroy him, uh, it, this part is mandatory. Uh, scrap Recycler can't uh, use its effect because we summon back the Scrap Recycler and then we have to destroy something. So uh, Scrap Recycler should have been activated uh, uh, when the card when, when the set card is destroyed so we can't use that. So now the standard combo is to go into the Scrap Wyvern effect. No, before you have to set the re return because you need a card to be destroyed by the Scrap Wiper. So, and we don't want to destroy our crescendo. So we set the return, we use the Wyvern effect, summon back the Recycler. For, so the first time we have to destroy the Scrap Recycler uh, with uh, Wyvern. So this will trigger the second effect of Wyvern. We have to summon the Scrap Golem. Um, from the deck and then we destroy our return and uh, yeah we go we have to combo off from that so yes yeah, someone back the recycler the recycler gets destroyed and then scrap golem uh, it's the field and now scrap wyvern has to destroy once more and we will destroy the orchestrated return because it's useless this turn so yeah, now Golem, uh, Golem's effect is that once per turn you can select one uh, level 4 or lower scrap monster in our graveyard and special summon it. So we can special summon back the scrap recycler and we can dump uh, another like Orcus monster. So yeah. Now he can send the Orochi since he has both the hard power and the war wand. Uh, in the graveyard already. So now from there you can go into a Palooza, you can go you can go into a full Orcus combo with IP and the Link Monster, the Galati on field. If he plays a this is, this is pretty good. Okay, so he plays the Apalooza. So now you have an Apalooza for free and now you can go into the full Orcus combo. Okay so now our power are activates you can summon the... Yeah, the skeleton is fine because you already have the Orochi and the Wand in Graveyard, so you, you don't actually need the Nightmare. Yeah, that's fine. So let's see how we place this. Because we have different ways to do this combo. You can like end on IP plus something or like Longir Su plus something else. Uh, of course with, uh, with the Babel. So now he goes into the War Wand and he goes into the Galatea. Okay, that's standard. So now Galatea will shuffle back the Wand and will uh, 
set the babel so now you can go into okay so now you still have Durochi. i don't think you really want to use this during this turn but yeah that's still fine so now you can go into a uh, skeleton to summon back the hard power and then summon dingirsu attach the skeleton and then from there you, you can go into different ways you can go into ip or use the orochi for the dingirsu and stuff like that okay now he goes into the orochi i think that this is a minor misplay because uh you could have used orochi before and then you could have saved 100 percent your war one which is a a pretty important card for orcus deck so yeah, now he links everything away for uh, Long Jirsu, okay, so he's not going into the IP play. And yeah, Skeleton will attach back the Galatea, uh, will summon back the Galatea, sorry. And then I think that, yeah, Ding Jirsu will attach back the Skeleton. Okay. And he passes. Yeah, I think this is not a really good combo because you're all in interruptions here are from um, Longirsu and Apollosa while if you have if you if you would have gone for the IP combo you could have had the Dingirsu, the IP uh, and then the Apollosa but probably he wanted to save his Crescendo which is okay uh, yeah uh, I don't know that, that's kind of switch it, it's more like uh, how you want to go to play so let's see what he faces. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Cyber Reminder she gets activated. Uh, so we are facing Cyber Dragon. I think that here you could crescendo because Cyber Reminder she could add um, a Cyber Dragon. Oh no, it ca can only add something that can't be normal summon. Uh, so yeah, you can let it go through. Uh, yeah, maybe I would not negate that because he's not hiding like something that can uh, contact fuse the Appaloosa, I guess. So yeah, let's see. Now he negates that. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, maybe he could have added uh, like something that can break the board. I don't actually know <laughs> every Cyber Dragon card. Uh, so now he discarded the Hurts to summon the... Oh no, he just normal summons it, that was a mix click, okay. So, okay. He normal summons that, so now he can contact Fuse uh, the Appaloosa and the Hurts uh, for the Mega Fleet. Yeah, you, you can't do anything about that. And he uses the Instant Fusion, okay, that's pretty strange. And he goes for the Panzer Dragon, I guess. Okay, the Panzer Dragon, which it, which is just a machine level five light monster for the exquisite play. So now, uh, okay, the the Longishu here is pretty useless because, as you can see, he only has the hard power in grave, so he can't use that anymore. So yeah, I think that this combo is kind of weak. Uh, so yeah, the long issue can't be used, that's pretty strange. And now machine duplication gets activated. Okay, so this is pretty nuts. So I can summon two separate dragon from the deck. Okay, so now I think that the next play is gonna be the contact fusion. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, no, he wants to go for the Nova before. And uh, yeah, he can Long gears can't be used at the moment, so yeah, that's pretty useless. And the contact fuse everything away for the Mega Fleet, okay, which is fine. And yeah, now he links two monsters away for the Hertz, I guess, because he wanted to summon a lot of monsters. So now he can go into the Infinity and steal something. Uh, yeah, that's fair. So now Nova can use its effect to summon back a uh, Cyber Dragon. Okay. So it looks like uh, the board is getting broken, but as you can see, uh, the Hertz wasn't used. That was also a bit of a misplay. 
So now the cold body grave can can target the cyber dragon, so he, he gets one less monster on the field. Okay, so let's see. I think he goes for the infinity now. Pretty pretty sure. Okay, so he can steal the. I think he, he can steal the Dingirsu, so he can't be summoned back with the skeleton. And he can run over the, the Longirsu, so yeah. So yeah. And now, okay, he uses hard, so maybe he wants it to be negated, I guess. Let's see. Okay, he let it go through, I think that's correct. Uh, yeah, but now he 100% wants to save one monster because if the infinity runs over the nightmare, uh, the Siger can't run over the long gear shoot. But now, if uh, yeah, but since the nightmare can't be destroyed from the Siger, yeah, he definitely wants to keep one monster on the field, I guess. So yeah, I think that's correct. Maybe you can use the long issue now, uh, but uh, the infinity can negate that. So yeah, let's see. Okay, so I think th this is a bit of a misplay because he didn't know that the nightmare can't be destroyed by link monsters by battle. So now he wants to use the skeleton. And the Galatea comes down. Okay, so still the Infinity wants to run over the long issue. And he, he wants to use the long issue effect. And then you have to activate the Infinity there, otherwise the Infinity can get sent. Uh, yeah, so now Galatea gets activated and sets the return, which is pretty good because you can you can dig into something the next turn yeah the gutter gets destroyed and now the the nightmare will stay on the field so yeah so now you can go into the orochi into in, during the end phase uh, so yeah that's pretty good but now it fuses away the orcus nightmare with the Sire into the fortress dragon so he has no monster on the field or, uh, yet for the return. I think that's correct. And now he discards the buyer to summon back the Naxter. So the Naxter can summon back the Seeger. Okay, that's pretty good, honestly. The board isn't that bad. You only have the Infinity as an interruption. So yeah, that, that's not super good against Orcus because now we can go into Orochi and then uh, I think he can't attack the infinity because the infinity is 2500 but you can use the second effect of Orochi so banish free from the extra deck and like force the infinity so yeah I think that's the line because after that you have your crescendo you have the nightmare you can still summon back the, the Orochi and yeah that's it so he uses the Rochi here, uh, yeah. the Infinity gets, has to negate that, and then just, you, you just have to go into the, the Orcus play and just clear everything. So yeah, that, that's pretty standard. You, you can just summon back the Longirsu with the, with the Simba Skeleton here, yeah, so you, you can send one piece with Longirsu effect. And then you can just go into the gear shoes and another one and, and then just attack over everything else. So yeah, now Crescendo has the ward one. That's pretty good because now you can use the return to discard the ward one and draw into fresh cards. <laughs> you draw into the R power R. So yeah, that, that's super good. Like it, it was one, one of the best draws, I guess. So yeah, so now you can go into the Galatea. Uh, shuffle back your stuff, set something, then go into the Ngirsu and just run over everything. Okay, so hard power gets activated now. You also get the, the Simba Skeleton on field. So yeah, 
Hit the Ginkishu sends the Saigar, yeah, because it has a boost effect, that's pretty good. And now you can just attack into everything. So now you can also go into a bomber play uh, that is pretty good with the uh, with the Simba Skeleton on field, yeah. So you also get to set the Cold by the Grave, I think that this game is pretty much over. So main phase one. I don't know what he could have draw. Okay, just the next Uh So yeah, that's fine. He uses the fat to target the Nova, but we have the gold by the grave. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, we banish the Nova. And then you have to use something here because otherwise he could have contact fuse into the Mega Fleet. So yeah. Hard power gets activated and now Simba Skeleton and now Bomber can destroy everything and in the end phase you can uh, summon back the Dingirshu and just put enough damage on board to attack for game. So yeah, I think uh, here the Cyber Dragon Ball player is gonna scoop uh, really soon. So yeah, you just summon one monster and then uh, attack for game. Okay, so game two. Uh, this is a pretty strange matchup, especially for Orcus, because um, you don't really want to put your monster in the extra monster zone against Cyber Dragon. Uh, but yeah, uh, you, you can still deal with that with the Ding issue. So here we still get to go first. Okay, so maybe it is an OTK version of Cyber Dragon. We still have the Scrap Recycler and the Foolish Burial also, which is like really good hand so yeah the hash blossom is the scrap recycler but now the the foolish burial comes down and yeah you just go into your standard your standard orcus combo you could have used your scrap uh link monster combo but yeah i don't think that's really good against cyber Dragon because even if you end on apollosa um it's not that good because uh, just a Cyber Dragon contacts uh, fuse away the Apollosa. So maybe now, since you have the return in hand already, you can dig uh, into more cards. So maybe you can try to just not to leave monster on the field because otherwise your opponent can summon back, can summon his Cyber Dragon and tries to OTK. Okay, so it goes into the return on the harp. So he just wants to dig into something. Uh, okay, so the Dingishu comes down, and yeah, that's fair. Maybe he wanted to uh, dig into um, some end traps or stuff like that. You still have the drawing lock here, which is okay against Cyber Dragon because the Cyber Dragon deck uh, has like 10 cards that search. So, yeah, drawing lock is still fine. So, okay, let's see. Uh, we, it gets played okay battle phase so there must be a heavily match here so okay now i think you want to keep your babel uh because you have the hard power and the nightmare so you just get too much advantage and also if you bench your thing issue you, uh your opponent can't use cyber dragon anymore so yeah Okay, so he passes, so yeah, maybe he just breaks or doesn't have any play. So yeah, now you can just go into Hard Power Roar and then also into Nightmare. I think that's pretty much game because uh, you have the Scrap Recycler now with the Simba Skeleton with uh, uh, summon back the Galatea, which can uh, set the counter, which is a uh, defense against any end trap. So yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. So yeah, Galatea uh, shovels back the Nightmare and starts the Crescendo. So yeah, I think that's pretty much the game. Also, you draw into the Instant Fusion, so I think that you can just go into the Boris World play. You, you, just, you already have a, a lot of monsters on the field. So yeah, you just go into a, an easy Boris World. So Armageddon uh, sends the Harp, uh, which summons from the deck the Simba Skeleton 
under return guest activity, uh, which shows the one and the graph. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good because now Graphite can special summon itself by discarding the wand. And yeah, yeah, that's exa exactly what happens. So one summons back the hard power, and then you're going to the Galatea, and then you can go into Boris Roar and summon back the Galatea. Okay, no, but he went into the bomber, so I don't know. Oh yeah, because now the Nightmare can boost the bomber, sending the Orochi. Uh, yeah, I think it's enough damage is on board already. So yeah, as you can see, this is pretty much game. So, that's it for this episode of the ePlay Analysis and Commentary. I hope you enjoyed this video with the brand new Scrap Wyvern card. Uh, so, if you have any requests or any replays to send us, just ask us on Facebook or on Instagram. So, don't forget to subscribe, press the thumbs up button. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Until the next time.